Welcome to the life of a Call of Duty gamer. After I get done with a hard day's drive in my Ferrari, it's hard for me to have a tough day. <laughs> I uh, like how they were handed that Call of Duty 4 engine and they came out with that. <laughs> See, what Treyarch does is they just take if any word advances the engine out a higher quality product and then the next year Treyarch puts out one that's less. Okay. I can't I can't support the Black Ops okay Black Ops didn't the Black Ops World 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 yeah, the World of War engine. Yeah the World of War engine is the World of War engine so it's, it's you just, took like a third generation COD engine. Exactly. I can't support that because they're writing the coattails when Infinity Ward's hard work and, and Infinity Ward gets the hate for it. People gotta look at what's going on. Treyarch it's such a good game. <laughs> really good game. Well, it's because like six hours will go by and you're like, I just sat down. It's a game that's set and up you have for to you play to, to stay there. To progress, so. It kind of keeps you coming. No, I spent 12 hours in the auction house. Oh, you want to win? Game. You have to play for hours. Hey, what Call of Duty do you think takes the longest to get the full maxed out? World at War. World at War? Because it was 10 and 70 levels? Yeah. It was just, and it was so rough. I didn't even buy it. I did so not even buy it. So these are uh, a couple little clips that were left over on my iPhone. Yeah, you know, Elky was a pretty cool dude. You know, if you guys ever get a chance to meet him in person, you would realize that, uh, you know, there's the man behind the entertainment and the man himself. And, uh, you know, I, I enjoyed all the time that we spent out there. It was uh, great fun hanging out with, Owen, you know, Blade and... Mark J and uh, Sandy, DJ Keemster, and uh, Doc, and everybody that came out there. It was a good time. You know, if you guys ever get a chance to uh, come out there or go out there, you know, I mean, um, it's a very eccentric person, and you'll learn a lot. Yeah, and Fwiz showed up too. That was pretty cool. So, yeah, we went back here. There's like a the yard even goes back further. It's kind of weird. It's like a little sitting area back there. But and then you see this house. That's where the Arm and Hammer family lives. The house is like, that's huge. And then they got the houses down here. And then you got the city to the left. So, I mean, this Beverly Hills. It's kind of crazy. You know, you're out there and it's sunny and it's not really hot. And it's just a nice place. It's a cool experience. I'll never forget it. I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. That's about it. Till next time, it's your boy Fist. Peace. It's your evil girl on behalf of Fist Exchange. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.